So we've taken the pan of rabbit off the heat to let it rest for a little bit and cool down. And as you can see, it's that tender has fallen apart already. So, let's try and see if we can peel off the meat from the bones. Just pick it up, put your fingers to it, and just shred all the meat. This is the best way to get everything off a rabbit. Just be careful you don't put tiny little bones in there. Now the loins, again, just pushing it with my fingers all the way down the backbone. Comes off really, really easy. We're nearly done here now. I can hear that sizzling of the pancetta in the background. We're going to add the uh, rabbit straight into that. A little bit of seasoning, so it cooks in the kind of the bacon fat. It's going to be unreal. As you can see, it's actually quite a lot of meat that you get off a rabbit once you've broken it down. Again, feeling for the bones is a, a piece there. I'm just going to just shred it into pieces. It's a little drizzle of olive oil. and some salt and mix all that in. Pop this in. Take it over to the fire now, add it to the pancetta. So you've got the pancetta that's been cooking on there and that's getting nice and crispy now. Scraping the bottom of that. So we're just gonna quickly just chuck in our rabbit to just to absorb some of that juices. Add a little squeeze of lemon. There we go. That's going to be awesome. I'm just going to fry it a little bit in the bacon fat. So, let's take this off the heat and put it in our salad. For our rabbit salad, we're going to make a really simple and easy ranch dressing. So I'm literally going to put about 200 ml of mayonnaise in there. Got some onion here that I've cooked on the fire. It smells nice and smoky. But when you're home, just cook off some onion and add it in. Some chives. Clove of chopped diced garlic. And some buttermilk. Or in this case, if you don't have any buttermilk, you can use milk, a little bit of salt and lemon. So I'm just gonna pop that a little bit in there and mix it all in. So about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and about a teaspoon of salt. And that should make a ranch dressing for the rabbit salad. And there we go, this is our rabbit uh, salad with ranch dressing. It smells absolutely amazing and I'm getting really hungry right now. So I'm gonna just dish some of this salad out. I've got a few hungry people around me as well, so I'm catering for the masses. And this bacon and rabbit it goes really, really well together. Put that down there. We're gonna load on top our ranch dressing. And there we go. Our rabbit ranch dressing salad. Now I'm getting stuck in. <laughs>